bought a wheel right here, paid $63 for it, and we're gonna red zero. red zero, okay? And we're gonna wheel it, we're on box number 18. Here we are with Starkey. We're gonna wheel it, and we're gonna see if it's a true 5K. And a 5K is... Okay, let's go. Okay, we're gonna wheel it from the middle. The middle of the course, all the way around, cutting no angles. We're gonna go from the middle of all of the trails and everything. Okay? Okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's, no, 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 Dad, it's 5,261, so okay. it's only about first right. mile, 20 feet short. Okay, we're at the first mile marker here. Okay, and we're at 5,261.8 feet. So like 5,262. So that's like... And there are 5,280 feet in a mile. So right now we're maybe about five meters, five meters short. Because we're 20 something. Well, let's just wheel it out. We're going we're gonna to stop by at every marker. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. We're doing the turnaround stop. Okay. Doing the turnaround. Okay, right? 2011 see the turnaround and at the turnaround can you see that 7,405.6 but, but it isn't 1.5 miles we know I'm just giving them the measurement at the turnaround okay okay let's go well, a lot of times they put the turnaround at 1.5 and if it's 1.5 it's supposed to be more than that so well when we measure at the two mile at the two mile mark now Okay, two mile. Five, five feet short. Okay, we got 10,554.6. 10,554. 10,554.6, almost seven. So we're just a couple of feet short of two miles, right? Yeah, about five feet short. Okay, let's go. Okay. We should just be about a thousand feet away from the two sure. and a half mile mark. A little bit less than a thousand. A little bit less than a thousand. Okay, we're approaching the two and a half mile mark. Okay, stop on the line. Okay. We're about okay. four meters short of a two and a half, about, we're about, no, we're about four Let, feet short. We got, we have 10,196. 3,000. I'm sorry, 3,000. 13,196 13, feet. Okay, 13,196 feet. And there is 13,200 feet in well, a two, we don't have two to and a half do the miles. Math. We don't have to do the miles. math right now. Well, it looks like we're only four feet short of a two and a half mile. Four feet. Yeah, four feet, not meters, feet. Four feet short at the two and a half mile mark. So, the rest of this trail will tell the tale. Okay, we're coming out of the bike path and getting close to the trail where we'll be turning up. You have about 2,000 two feet, feet until the finish. 2,000 feet? Yes, because there is 16,404 feet in a 5K. Okay. Enough. Proof's in the pudding. Okay. Coming onto the, 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 the grass now. Onto the trail. I'm going to take it all the way around there. Okay, we're coming towards the finish line, where the finish line was. Okay, there's the finish line over there. Okay, 
Take it in just like you went into the finish line, okay? Okay, stop at the finish line. All right, what do we got? We're at about 6, 16,350. So we're about 50, 50 feet off of a 5K. 50 feet. So if you do 50 divided by 3.3, .3, that'll tell you how many meters off it was. Okay, so, that's... Get, get out your calculator. Yeah. If I do... Let's see. Okay. Here you go. If I do... So that's 10,634.59.8. by 3.3. So it was only off by about 15 meters. 15 meters. Yep. Well, that's the proof. To me, that's a 5K. Yeah. I don't know. Anyone who wants to come down here and measure it themselves, be our guest because it was we, a 5K. The proof is in the numbers. We challenge you. Jason, hi. I'm Carl Grippo's dad. Uh, I just want everybody to know that we went out and bought a wheel. We wheeled the course at Mitchell Invitational. We ran down the center of the course. Uh, it's 50 or 60 feet, um, whatever the video says, short of the 5K. You know, all of the kids that ran that race should feel that they got their time that they that they deserve. Uh, it's uh, it, it, it was uh, to me that's a 5K. 50 or 50, 60 feet short is a 5K, and if that's a problem with that, then maybe. The, you need to have somebody measure every cost that you register your time with. You know, Coach Levy, I commend him. He put on a great meet. He had a great turnout. The kids had a great time. It was a lot of fun. You know, and that's the most important thing, that the kids have a lot of fun. But... Uh, it's a lot. It's also important to the kids that are really running well. And and uh, I wheeled this course with my daughter. I bought a wheel at Home Depot. Uh, paid sixty five dollars for it. And brand new. We tested it. It works the proper footage. And then we wheeled the course. And uh, excuse me for my bad head cold that I have going on and losing my voice. But uh, this is the deal, you know. And I rewheeled it for you and I put a video up here for you. If this is improved for you, then you need to get down here and rewheel it and prove it to yourself. Otherwise, put it up on your database that these kids that got PRs and ran these good times got their times. That's all I have to say, okay? I uh, these armchair people that comment that oh it wasn't a true cost, it wasn't a true. Hey, you know what? It was a true cost. Fifty or sixty feet short is a five k. You know, uh, I'm new to this game, and I just know how hard my daughter works. And if she was running under seventeen, I mean under eight, excuse me. If she was running under 18 in June, it's really not impossible for her to be running a 17-20, 17-25 at this point in the game with a almost a thousand mile base over the summer. You know, her coach and myself are the only ones that know how hard she works. And along with the other kids that PR'd, and the boy that won the varsity meet, he ran a phenomenal time. You know, uh... These guys, these guys should not be discredited. Thank you.